Hello. I'm playing in my SG100Y right now. And I guess I'll just do a review over it right now since I am in the mood for recording. So, Tier 6 Russian Tank Destroyer. Um, me and my friends, we call it Elephant Tank for whatever reason. I guess it looks like an elephant. But it's actually really um, good as a tank destroyer. I play it aggressively sometimes, but that's just me. And I love playing this tank. It's got a 130 millimeter gun. Yeah, 130 millimeter gun. It does insane, insane amount of damage. Even though it got a 15 second reload, I have 100% cruise. So it's around like an 18 second reload when you first get it, I believe. But it does incredible damage. And 196 pen, that's pretty good. I think this is a tier 9 or 10 gun on this tank. Um, as you can see, I'm going 35 miles an hour, not just because I'm going downhill. If it was flat, I'd be going around at the same speed. It's got almost a 900 horsepower engine in it, I want to say. Um, it's got a lot of characteristics of other Russian tank destroyers. Um, first off, the speed is one of them. The guns, well, most of the Russian tanks, like, have just pure sheer power put into their tanks and um, just like other of the tank destroyers except for like the object 704 with the tier 9 tier 10 Russian tank destroyers with their sloped frontal armor the armor on these tanks not good at all the only thing that is armored on this tank is the gun mantlet up in the front I've pinged shots from there repeatedly, sometimes by tanks I knew for a fact I was going to get penned. They just happened to manage to hit my gun mantle. I've had people start shooting at me, and the only place they shot me, because I, I guess they thought it would be a weak spot, was the gun mantle. And they're like, why can't I pen you? I know you have bad armor. And I'm like, dude, you were shooting me in my gun mantle. And they're like, eh. And I'm like, well, they didn't really respond after that, but I guess they, I'm guessing that's what their reaction was when I said that. And I wish I could find some people I could shoot at and show you guys the power of this tank. Like, I don't really play aggressive, but this isn't the kind of map. Uh, I mean, if I just peek over, I don't have enough gun depression to peek over those hills over there. Um, so, I probably won't be able to shoot anything. Okay. Let's keep him spotted. Ah, uh, you. I've got an elevation better than the depression, but. Come on, back, back, back up. No, spot him again. Spot him again. Oh, man. Okay. Aha, there's a target. Easy target, for that matter. Did I? Yeah, Russian accuracy. No, don't do it. You have so much to live for. That guy's obviously a noob. Reload, please. Reload, please. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. I'm sorry. No! He did it. He did it. Hold on. Let me shoot something. This accuracy is actually really bad right now. Ah! There we go. See that? Hellcat. <laughs> yeah, they're laughing and chat about that guy. I'm just like, no, he's jumping for it. I've done really good in this game. I've like, I was expecting to do a lot better in this game. He trapped in air. I didn't see that. That's actually pretty cool. But anyways, um, after this game, I'll talk about more specs of this tank. But I'm gonna keep playing it out, and you guys are gonna be sticking here with me. I hope, and not just skipping right back to the specs. Hopefully I can get a shot in the VK or maybe the Panzer IV. Just try and show his sheer strength, even though he's over there, probably heading down towards the Bishop. Should probably turn around. This other T28 was around here that I missed. Probably by just so little, just missed. But aha, <laughs> an AMX40. I hate. I hated that. 
Ammo racked, okay. E28. How you doing? No! Get out there and fix that track. 10 seconds. Don't kill the Panzer IV. Let me do it. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't even see where he is. Screw the tracks. Panzer. Oh! Okay, whatever. I'm gonna get on the cast circle. It's not the best game to demonstrate this tank. Especially when I missed twice. But certainly, take my word, this tank is good. I love this tank. There's been games where I've gotten many kills. Where I've done all the damage to those tanks. And most of them are one shots. Like if I get a tier 6 game like this, I can one shot. Even some tier 6s, like a Hellcat, I've one shot before. And many other tanks. Um, not mo not most heavies, I don't think I can one shot. I mean, for just shooting two tanks, like a premium, I have. But like that, that's not bad. And plus, it's a premium tank, so you're going to get a little bit extra. Um, 890 horsepower. Pretty good. Armor, same all the way around. Front, back, side. 60. Very bad. Shell damage, 330 for AP. Right? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. For AP, you can do up to 550 damage, which is outstanding. With up to 245 pen. Um, if you want to shoot HE, you could do up to 725 damage, which is retarded. But with a reduction of penetration, of course. And then if you want to shoot uh, your gold rounds, uh, more damage, same pen. But that's that. I always equip a camo netting. I have these skills here. Well, I actually have a lot for camo because this thing is not very easy to hide. <laughs> As you can see, it is big. It's actually really big compared to that tank, which is big in real life anyways. This is just a monster. Gun traverse speed, 26 degrees per second, which is fast because it's a tank destroyer. View range, 350. It's decent. 700 hit points. Look at how heavy this tank is. You could even ram with this tank and still do a bunch of damage uh oh no it's only a tier 8 gun but it's 130 millimeter i think it's the equivalent to a tier 10 that's what i was trying to get at tier 4 radio but you're not going to be doing much scouting in this tank and yeah tanks and engine yes uh i do get lit on fire every once in a while in this tank but fire extinguisher you're gonna want these I would recommend having these on all your tanks. Sure. And once you have 100% cruise, definitely put the skills on. You do that for every tank. Uh, the only problem I have with this tank is it's big. It's big and bulky. If you could get the upper hand to where maybe you're... Uh, uh, opponent can't get his gun low enough down to shoot you like if you're like if they're up here and you're down here and Like they're on a hill you're on, your, on the bottom of the hill and They can't get your gun far enough down which they should be able to if they just poke over You could definitely just shoot them and then they'll be like oh and then they'll Just like oh and they'll back up and Yeah, it's gun depression very bad elevation decent all around tank, very fun, I love it. You should go and grab one if you really want to. I don't remember how much it was. $15? I can tell you how much gold it is. It's, oh no, I can't tell you, can I? Oh, 30, $32.50 gold, which is, I don't, I'm not going on the website. I think that's only like $15, $16. Uh, it's definitely worth it. I have fun with it. I grind XP with it. I grind money with it Just don't have any gold. <laughs> I could convert that but If you need mo like I grind money with this tank and like I just bought my already back I had to sell for my is3 a while back and I made that in like two games Two games and they weren't even good games. So it's a credit just monster 
and it's fun. Like if you're going to platoon with these and you just one, two, three people in them, you could all fire at one target at once. It's not going to live. I guarantee you, it's not going to live unless you all miss, or at least two of you misses. It's not going to live. This tank is a beast. I hope you enjoy. And I'm out.